Welcome to a quick tutorial of COVID Sim. This is a science-based simulation based on real-world data. Let's first take a quick tour of the options and then we'll dive into using COVID Sim. The main screen includes a detailed introduction, a section about the science behind the simulation, and how to play COVID Sim. On the play menu, there are three options. Two of them, experiments and compare, can be used once you start designing cities and setting up the different safety measures. Now let's design a city. You enter a name and type in or slide the option bar to set the population. The next button brings you to the section that details the COVID-19 virus. Note that there are expandable sections throughout the simulation that provide additional information. Using the next button, on the lower right brings you to the vaccination screen. For this simulation, let's not vaccinate and we'll rely on herd immunity. You will notice that there is an explanation about herd immunity once you make that selection. Another click on the next button brings you to the safety section. Here you can decide what precautions, if any, will be used to prevent the spread of the virus. Mask provides three options, cloth, surgical, and N95. For this simulation, we'll select cloth and set it to start at day 90. We'll leave the percent of the population using masks at 10%. Distancing is another measure you can turn on, but you will notice if you try to increase the percent of population social distancing, there is a reminder that while this is very effective at fighting the virus, it is difficult to do and sustain. We'll leave the distancing at 10% and also start on day 90. Clicking the next button pulls up your city map where you can add infected people. There is a limit of 10 people who can be added to the map. And for our first simulation, we'll add three. Now you're set to go to the simulation screen by just clicking on the next button. Before you click on the play simulation or drag the control bar, here are a few things to take notice of. There is a large R at the top. This is called the R0 value and is the number of people an infected person can likely transmit the virus to under the current conditions. Numbers above one increases the spread of the virus and numbers below one reduce the spread of the virus. You will also see masks and distancing are not active. This is because we set the start day at 90. As the simulation plays, these icons will change to active after day 90. One additional thing to point out is the key above the map. These symbols will be displayed on the map when the number of people reach that value. Depending on the population of your city, these icons can represent 10, 100, or 1,000 individuals. Let's click on the play icon. Once the simulation is finished, notice the numbers below the map. These are the quick stats. You'll want to save your simulation now so you can compare it to future simulations. Once it is saved, you can use the run again with vaccines since our first simulation did not use any vaccines. Now before you click on the play simulation, there might be an information text box that pops up to alert you about the icons displayed on the map because they don't reach the threshold for an icon. Remember these icons can represent groups of 10, 100, and 1,000 people. If the simulation does not meet the minimum number of people, the icon will not display. Even if there are no icons, the simulation data below the map will display the actual values. After you play the simulation, be sure to save it so you can compare it with your first simulation. Now that you've run the simulations and saved them, you can use the Compare Outbreak section to see how the results compare. There are additional features you will want to explore in COVID Sim, such as the graph section, and the table of data. Oh, and don't forget to visit the experiments area. There are some suggestions for running experiments with COVID Sim, and it's also where you can get the data sheet to record your results. To get back to that area, Click on the COVID Sim link at the top left of the screen and select the Play menu. 
Notice you'll see a warning that your data will be lost if you continue. Just be sure you saved your simulations before you click that link. Finally, if you want to learn more about the science behind COVID Sim, you can visit that section from the main menu. Now it is time for you to build your own towns and see how many lives you can save using vaccines, masks, and social distancing. Good luck.